quiz today. You may have a lot of natural ability, but even geniuses need to study. That's Polly's teacher, Ms. Winkle. At that school on the hill, everything's <coughs> state of the art. Miss All the Winkle. Are personalized, yeah. programmed, and videotaped by the teacher. Pretty cool, huh? Now, today's quiz is all about inventions and discoveries. Something you should know plenty about, Polly. <gasps> but no fair asking your father for help. <laughs> oh, there are you. There 25 questions total, Polly. <laughs> five on each of the five discs I've passed out to you and the rest of the class. That's five different levels. So, sit up straight. If you can't do the math, the Polly, that's five pass, different and levels. select your first question. Okay. What we should do first is select one of the quiz questions. Just click on any one of the five buttons near the bottom of the transquizzer. Since we've got to bring all the robots back, the order doesn't really matter. I'm going to select it because I'm going to go in order, bitch. Don't, don't tell me what I can and can't do. People once thought the Earth was the center of the universe and everything revolved around it. That's because when they looked up in the sky, the sun and the stars all appeared to be moving around the Earth. A nice idea, but appearances can be deceiving. Today we know that the Earth revolves around what? Miss Winkle, as everybody knows, I am the center of the universe. You bitch. Yes. Polly, you're exactly right. The whole world revolves around you. Heavens, Polly is just too much to bear. She used to think she was the center of the universe. Now she really is. We need to go back in time and straighten this mess out, or life as we know it will change drastically. We need to destroy Click on the her. Button to put away the transquizzer. Well, it just so happened, Sotley, that I realized long ago... That okay, that was a shitty name, Sotley, so really? That's a horrible, like, all over the that's a horrible insult. Four clues total. Well, Polly, okay. It looks like we have no choice but to play by your rules, as unfair as they are. Just tell us what we need to find for this mission. Relax, Gutley. It won't be so bad. I sent Russian robot Cosmobot to put me Gutly, in the center what? of the universe. Where is she coming up with these names? These are horrible names for him. A pig, a sundial, a postage stamp, and a dollar bill. But why mess up a good thing? Cosmobot and I never used to get along, but now we're pals. I can't believe Polly reprogrammed him for her selfish purposes. Yeah, we I know, that bitch. Get we'll get her, back. don't worry, Botley. Keep still while I sense around for clues. Like, there's really nothing else I can do. Hey, where I am you already still. I'm sensing a mission clue in the music hall. Sweet. There's another mission clue in the painting gallery. Hmm. Let's see what will happen. Sweet, the Jolly Roger. Nope. Let's see. Well, let's go to the music hall. Let me see. Yeah, waving forks and knives. Music this hall. is the door to the professor's concert hall, which he usually keeps locked so none of the less musical robots around here pound too hard on the piano. But the door doesn't open with a key. Instead, it uses a password. Hey, Botoven! Huh? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. Oh, Bartley, it's just you. You should have called my name instead of just scuffling around out there. Uh, sure. Okay, listen, Polly's up you to no game here, we're trying to stop her. We're up to the lock. Can you help us? Now, Bartley, if I just gave you the answers, Polly would reboot me in a heartbeat. But if you're really having trouble figuring out one of the words, click on the button next to it, and I'll see what I can do. Good luck. Okay. What you must do is unscramble the letters on the left side of the door to create four words. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this one's rain doesn't look too hard. Rain! Hey, way to go! This is wind. Wind! You've got a real talent for this. And I think this one's heat, I'm pretty sure. Can't see anything else heat. you can't make out of it. You've got a real talent for this. And this one's gonna be steel. 
It seems you've created some kind of word, but it's not the right word. Click on the button next to the word if you need a hint. Oh, it's not steel? Um, okay, uh... Hmm. Wet snow. Oh, sleet? Oh. I guess it seemed weird because everything else was an element. You figured out all four words. Now, can you unscramble the password? Hmm. What the hell? Hmm. I hate unscrambling. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> I can't tell what this word is. It's obviously heater. No. Hmm. Heat. <laughs> I have no clue, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure it out. I just figured it out. Apparently, the scrambled word had to do with everything else here. So, since they were all some type of element, the last one has to deal with that. Okay, so that's so we now we know from now on that that. The word there has to deal with whatever's on the wall to the left. This is where rehearsals are held by our award-winning all-robot chorus, headed by Maestro Trombot. Of course, thanks to Polly, half the members of the chorus are lost in time right now. Ah, oh, to hear their sweet, dulcet tones just one more time. Maestro? I don't even know what a dulcet tone is. Shh, Bartley, you'll misalign my perfect the pitch sensors. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. There we go. Sorry, Maestro, but Polly's put us all in a bit of a jam, and the future of civilization is at stake. Mamma mia, if she would only practice around Be -ba 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 -da -boo -ba -da. the time or the inclination to destroy the world, music has such a civilizing influence. Although her voice, uh, let's just say it's not music to my ears. That maestro, you just don't appreciate my instrument. Do -do 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 oh, well, shut the fuck well, up! You do have a quality. I've got scads and scads of quality, but what I've got scads and scads of quality. I hid here. In order to get it, though, he'll have to play me a song. Not just any song, though. I want to hear this song. Shh. 
And please play it right, Dingbot. My delicate ears can't handle even one sour note. You mess up, and you get nothing. Nada. Zilch. Nuts. You know, if you like, you can play the organ with the top row of number keys on your keyboard. Click on the music tablet to play that tune. How did she... Uh, uh, it seems that you have your work cut out for you, dear Bartley. You see, the music is all mixed up. If you want to hear how it's supposed to sound, click on me and I'll play it for you. Then you should have little trouble rearranging those musical phrases until they're in the right order. Click on the button next to the phrase to hear the music stored on it. Then click on the phrase to move it to another slot. If you click on the play button, you can play the entire piece as it's arranged on the music tablet. You can even change the instrument it's played with by selecting one of the instruments on this panel. Sweet. Okay, so... <laughs> you did it! Hell yeah! This song is called Yankee Doodle. It's called In Yank My do Doodle. Doodle, you know, or Yank My Noodle. It is dandy. It's a type of feather people used to wear in their hats. I bet you never knew that. I bet you I never wanted to know that. Oh my god, look at his arms. How the hell is he conducting an orchestra with that movement? That that seems ridiculous. Music to my ears. Store the mission clue in your inventory, then we can continue our mission. Hell yeah, is that ham? I think that's ham. All sensors indicate that Polly hit a mission clue in the painting gallery. Well, this is the first episode of many for let's for uh jumpstart. So, until next time. Thank you everyone for watching. <laughs>